one lap to go. Three and a half miles for Joao Barbosa, for Terry Borcello. That's right, the crew signaling one more. One more lap for Mike Rockefeller, for Ryan Dial. Dial's come so close. Rocky's been on the podium here. The other two boys, the more senior members in the team, they know what it's like. But Terry Borcella is the only one of the driving squad who has won this event overall. And he hasn't seen victory lane in the uh, Rolex series since that win back in 2004. So this is a big moment for Terry too. Big, big as far as coming back with a full-time ride in 2010 as well, Dors. This team slipped under the radar. This is huge for them. Can't say enough. Terry Borcella, you know, he had a tough time. We talked about it at the beginning of the show. He was dropped out of racing, just about lost his ability to get a ride now he's back back strong let's give a shout out to joe lajoy the engineer mike evans who calls the strategy and gary pennison the crew chief of the action express nine squad and we heard from bob johnson the new team owner the story there is his son keith had worked with the brumos organization for a long time and as calvin mentioned there was a whisper there was a rumor that they may have been pairing back to just a one car effort he said no way we need to keep these people employed. We need to keep racing with two cars. It may no longer be under the Brumos banner, but underneath the skin it really is. And the Action Express team are just seconds, just moments away from victory in the biggest sports car race, kicking the year off here at Daytona International Speedway. On the high banks, the Portuguese driver is bringing it home. João Barbosa enters the trioval for the final time. This is exciting stuff. The Action Express team on debut. Go to victory lane at the Rolex 24. How about that? Porchella on there, along with Ryan D. Allen, Mike Rockefeller. And a lot of that staff from the Brumos organization experienced victory two years in a row. Sensational performance. And V8 Porsche power, back to back. For the Porsche brand, it was the six-cylinder last year, the V8 this year, and Borchella is overcome with emotion. This is huge for Terry. This really is huge. Is, really and is. He went through such a lean spell in this form of racing to be back on top and with a full-time ride for the rest of the championship. He's just not filling in here and gets the victory and then walks away. He's got a championship season ahead of him. Spare a thought for the Ganassi boys. The Telmex BMW Riley comes home second. Some 50-odd seconds adrift of the race-leading team. Chip Ganassi, Mike Hull, it's hard to smile when you've come so close. And the Action Express boys have a huge reason to celebrate. 50.4 seconds in the end, the winning margin. And how about this? It's a very well-liked team, the Speed Source organization, run by Sylvan Tremblay, his engineer and dear friend David Haskell. Nick Ham farewells this team on a full-time basis as Ryan hunter Ray comes across the line for third overall. But it's the young man, the new man in the Speed Source number 70, who's going to bring it to the line. How about this in his young career? Jonathan Bomarito will see the chequered flag at the World Center of Racing and bring home the Castrol Syntec number 70, second victory in class in three years. It went horribly sideways last year, but they're back to victory lane. They win GT and get the start of this season off to the perfect start. Mazda goes back to victory lane in Daytona. Sylvain Tremblay and John Doonan celebrate. Wow, there'll be so many stories to tell. And let's hear from all of our winners when we come back.